Welcome to another edition of Travel with China Guide here on Y2J Does Asia, the video series where I tell you about China, what you can expect, what it's really like. In this video, we're talking about scams and hidden costs. And if ever there was a video where I needed feedback from you guys, the audience members, if you've been to China yourself, or if you know somebody that's been to China and they've told you stories, if there's anything, if there's ever a video where I need your feedback, it's this one. Because this one is one where it's a little bit hard to pigeonhole the content because the content for this video is scams and hidden costs because scams and hidden costs are everywhere in China. There is always a catch, no matter what you do, or where you go, what you buy, what where you spend your money, there is always a hidden cost. To give you a recent example of this, we recently went to Shanghai that's in April 2016. We went up the Oriental Pearl TV Tower. So a lot of these big cities around the world have towers. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those tall, really narrow buildings, sometimes called a sky tower. In Auckland, New Zealand, it's called a sky tower. In Sydney, it's called the Sydney Eye. In Shanghai, it's called the Oriental Pearl TV Tower. And most of these uh, towers they have a restaurant at the top and that's usually sort of the gimmick uh, you go up there you pay money to go up there and they tend to all work the same way at least the ones that I've been up they work the same way where you pay a certain cover charge probably twenty dollars or whatever it is where whatever the currency is where you are you, you pay that cover charge to go up and that cover charge only generally covers the observation level and the observation level might have a uh, a gift shop in it but if you want to get to the very very top level you pay extra yeah you pay extra you want to go to the fine buffet restaurant or whatever you know fantastic restaurant they have you pay extra you pay extra yeah yeah you want to do the skywalk or the bungee jump some of these towers have bungee jumps and the skywalk is where they uh, put a harness on you and they attach you to the outside and you get to walk around on the outside of, of the thing yeah you pay extra for that uh, so we know to expect that at least in, in our western countries when those things are around we know to expect that uh, china is no different there are scams and there are hidden costs everywhere and i'm, I'm saying scams and hidden costs in the, in the same video because sometimes there's a fine line between the scam and the hidden cost Another story, when we went to Beijing in 2012, we went, we wanted to see the Great Wall. That's what you do. Great Wall of China, that's what you do when you go to Beijing. And there are about three different Great Walls you can go to. There's the Zhuyongguan Wall, which is the closest wall. Uh, I believe it's the north or the northwest. I'm not sure exactly where geographically. It's sort of like the entrance to Beijing. It's like through a valley. There's the Zhuyongguan Great Wall the Bartling Great Wall, and the Simitai Great Wall. Uh, the Simitai one is, is a sort of a bit old and broken. It's probably the more authentic one of the three. The Bartling one is probably the most popular one. It's the nicest looking one. Uh, it's the one that's been restored. And it's the one that gets graffitied by the local Chinese who etch their names into it and things like that. So when we were there, we were downtown. It was actually at the Beijing Bird's Nest, you know, the Olympic Stadium. You ever see the 2008 Olympics? You got that hideous Olympic stadium, you know, made out of all of the meshed up mangled metal, that dreadful design. Yeah, uh, the bird's nest. So we were there, uh, you know, the bird's nest and the water cube. You know, the water cube is the great big swimming pool and there's a water park there too. And they had like a, a tour guide, like salesperson, you know, sitting in a, like a little kiosk gazebo type thing selling tickets for the Great Wall and we got scammed basically of course this guy only spoke chinese so kogo had to speak to him didn't speak english any english you know get used to that when you're in china no english and we were led to believe that we were going to be spending about four or five hours the entire morning 
on one of the great walls and we were told it was Bartling. And then we were going to be going to a shopping mall because that's what tends to happen is that they, in order to get you to spend money in shops, they package that together with visiting the local attraction. You know, they tend to bundle those things together. That's what we were told. In reality, what happened was we went not to Bartling, we went to Juyongguan, which is not quite as good as Bartling. And <laughs> we got there. We got off the bus, it was 9 o'clock in the morning, they said, okay, head up the mountain. You know, when they say head up the mountain, that means start walking up the steps, because the Juyongguan, you know, Great Wall steps are, are really fucking steep. Head up the mountain, and then come back down in half an hour, then we're going shopping. That's what they told us, on the tour bus. And we really couldn't do anything about it, because we paid our money, like idiots, we'd already paid the money. So, scams like this exist in China. They are there. Um, and it's not always to spot, it's not always easy to spot them. It's not always easy to spot the scams. They just come out of nowhere sometimes. Another scam is these people who work in railway stations and uh, airports. It tends to be railway stations. They hang around near the bus stop area or the taxi stand. And they offer to carry your bags for you from that point, say the taxi stand, to the point where you check in to get on the train. The problem is, they will charge you 10, 20, 30 yen for this service, which is, it's a luxury service because you could carry your own friggin' bag. It's not, you're not helpless, you can do it yourself. And of course, what they don't tell you is that the distance is a mere one or two hundred meters. It's not like it's a whole kilometre away, like some of these gigantic airports. No, 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 the train stations aren't that big. But they're not going to tell you that. Ah, they're not going to tell you that. Another popular scam is outside those amusement parks, in particular the Happy Valley amusement parks. The Happy Valley amusement parks are a bit like the Disneyland in China. And in the Happy Valley amusement parks, you have the water rides. You know, you have the big splash ride where, where the boat goes down and it hits the water and you get splashed. And they have the river raft ride where you get on the circular boat and you get strapped in. And you go down the, you know, the turbulent river and you get a bit wet. Well, in the park, they sell you the, you know, the, the, the plastic bag ra raincoats fairly inexpensively. I think they're about 15 yen. And you can reuse them. In fact, if you're up for grabbing a used one, you can get one for free by pulling it out of the rubbish bin and using somebody else's that's already been used and it's already a little bit wet. But those people, <laughs> those fucking scam artists, they hang around at the gate, at the friggin' gate before you get in, and they're telling you that you need to buy my one. And they'll say anything. They'll tell you that inside they don't sell them or inside they sell out, or inside they're too expensive, and this is cheaper, inside they're low quality, and this is the one you want to buy. They will tell you fucking anything to get you to buy their shit. Scams exist everywhere in China. It's hard to tell where they all are and where they're coming from, but they're there. People are looking to rip you off. Not everybody, but some people. Keep your eyes open. If you like the video, leave a comment. If you have a question, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So we're approaching the end of this series. And uh, yeah, subscribe.